Hello, I'm Roger. I'll show you a few ways to use studio monitors. I will be using the KRK GO UX4 monitor system manual. These studio monitors have all the most popular connection inputs. You can connect several devices to the studio monitors at the same time if there are several inputs. With the speakers positioned upside down, mount the stands to the speakers using the thumb screws, notating the direction of the speakers. The front of the speakers should be oriented to the front of the stand if you need to angle the speakers up. If you need the speakers to angle down, then orient the front of the speakers to the rear. AC input. Connect the included power cable here. Connect speaker cable out to right to both speakers. Connect input cables, if not using Bluetooth, USB audio ion, USB type B input. Turn on the power switch located on the rear of the left speaker. Lights up amber, indicating that the system is active and ready to use. If you are using the Bluetooth option, push the Bluetooth button on the rear of the left speaker to enable pairing, and pair to your source device according to your device's instructions. If you are using the USB input, go a UX4 only. Ensure that you select it as your audio output in the sound settings of your computer or DAW. Volume slash standby. Multifunction knob. Push twice to wake up system out of standby mode. Push and hold for 3 seconds to put system into standby mode. Play an audio track from your source and slowly bring up the volume of the source device, mixer, audio interface, or computer to the desired listening level. Then, use the volume knob on the front of the left speaker to further adjust the level. If you have a GOI UX4 and want to use the automatic room correction feature, please see the auto arc setup section. A UX ion, stereo analog input. Connect to computer, media player, or cell phone outputs. RCA left slash right ion, unbalanced RCA inputs. Connection to audio interfaces, DJ mixers, or consumer audio gear. TRS left slash right ion, balanced inputs. Connection to audio interfaces, mixing consoles, or other professional audio equipment. Bluetooth input, connect to Bluetooth capable audio device, push and hold to pair. The blue LED will blink rapidly when in pairing mode and become solid color when paired. LF slash HF EQ, 
adjust the level of the low frequency band and high frequency band to help balance for your listening environment or tastes. Push the button to adjust between plus 2 dB, white LED bright, flat, white LED nominal, and minus 3 dB, white LED dim. Headphone output. Stereo headphone output. Disables output from the speakers when headphones are plugged in. Use for checking your work or for silent listening. Placement. Ensure that you place the monitor with the power and input connections on the left side. The left and right studio monitors should be approximately 1 to 1.5 meters apart and directed at a 60 degree angle towards the listening location. It is important that both left and right studio monitors are level matched. Ensure the acoustic axis is pointed to your level in the listening position. Use the tilting mechanism integrated into the isolation stands to orient the acoustic axis to the correct position. Auto Arc Automatic Room Correction Feature Auto Arc Mic Input Input for the Auto Arc Measurement Microphone Push and Hold to Begin Auto Arc Setup Ensure that you have completed the placement section before beginning. 1. Attach the included microphone to the microphone input on the front left of the monitor. 2. Position the microphone at ear level in your ideal listening position. 3. Push and hold the auto arc button on the rear of the left speaker. 4. The speakers will produce a series of 25 tones then repeat. This may last several minutes. Do not move the microphone during this time. 5. When the test is complete, a quick low frequency tone will indicate that the auto arc is finished. You can now disconnect and store your microphone in the carry bag. Goodbye.